Yo, what's up guys? Ryan McGinn here back with another video and today I want to talk to you guys about being authentic online and actually using that authenticity to make money. With the popularity of Instagram, YouTube, Snapchat, vlogging and all these things, people have a tendency to fake their actual lives and if you're trying to use social media to build your business to make money, to become popular, to get more views, whatever your goal is, people are going to sniff out fake BS and I have a term for this I call it fake entrepreneur. Fake entrepreneur. I can't even say my own word but what that means is that you're just faking a life that's not actually yours and you're showing that on your social media to get more popular and that will work but in today's day and age transparency and authenticity is going to win out now with that said today I'm going to show you guys or teach you guys three different ways to use authenticity to become more popular actually use it to build likability and relatability which is one of the influence triggers Cialdini talks about in his best-selling book influence and what that means is you actually create a bond with your viewer a bond with your reader etc and that will bring them in closer to you to hopefully get them to spend money with you want to continue watching you and generally just be a cool regular normal authentic person the first one I want to talk to you guys about is actually owning your insecurities. And I was reminded about this because of the, the movie Eight Mile and Eminem in the last scene, which is this one right here. I know everything he's got to say against me. I am white. I am a fucking punk. I do live in a trailer with my mom. Here, tell these people something they don't know about me. Now what Eminem did there was he took all of his insecurities, all of the things that everybody knew about him but was like, and was hating on him for, and he owned it. He swallowed the elephant and he used it and he made himself more powerful because of it, and in the end he won the rap battle. Now when you put yourself out online, naturally you're going to get haters. It's just a real thing. You better embrace it. You better know it. But if you have things that are holding you in tight, that are causing you to kind of be insecure, if you don't swallow that elephant, eat that shit and own it and give yourself the power, people will hate on you for it and it's going to create a bad vibe. You're not going to want that, I promise. With that said a lot of popular vloggers do this all the time a lot of popular celebrities do this I just watched a video the other day a massive youtuber and vlogger Emma Chamberlain actually I meant Elle Mills she actually came out and said that she had a mental illness and she was going through a bunch of stuff you can see that clip right here my life just changed so much so fast my anxiety and depression keep getting worse and worse I'm crazy for you I started getting panic attacks and it's starting to scare me I'm literally just waiting for me to hit my breaking point Casey Neistat has also done this many times in the past where he talked about his marriage She's super pregnant. Look at the size of this belly. I myself do this all the time because I get a lot of hate from my bottom teeth and you can see a lot of those comments right here. Side note, yes, I know all about dental procedures and everything that goes along with it, and I will be getting my teeth fixed very soon. Now, just to recap that, own your insecurities. Keep that power for yourself. Use it to build your brand, to build your following, to build your name. Don't let other people take that power from you. Swallow the elephant and own your insecurities. And the next way that you can build authenticity and use it to actually make money and build a brand online is actually just standing with your beliefs. If you have a belief and you have values, you have core values, you need to state those loudly and proud and then always stand by that. Do your best not to be wishy-washy. I know sometimes people change and beliefs change, but if you're saying stuff and you're trying to get a message across, you can't be wishy-washy. You have to be 100% authentic and tell it how you actually believe shit. So stand by your beliefs. That could be anything. It could be religious, political, style, way of picking up women. It doesn't matter. If you believe it works, you have to 100% embrace that and believe it. And the people watching you on camera have to believe that as well. Now, the next way to live authentically online and use it to build a brand and make money is to actually live what you preach. Now, I talk about this in a lot of my influential breakdowns. It's how a lot of people get popular. Not only do they have 100% belief in their beliefs and values, they actually showcase that online and they are living what they're preaching. I said it in the last video, you don't see broke financial advisors, you don't see fat personal trainers. Guys like Greg O'Gallagher and Kino Body, he's popular because he is living what he's preaching. Guys like Ty Lopez, he's popular because he's living what he's preaching. He has Lamborghinis, he has a big house, he has fancy cars. My good friend Jason Capital, same thing. He drives a Bentley, he lives in a dope house. It was owned by a real housewife in Orange County. All of these things are actually what they live. So when they show it on social media, they're not hiding anything. They're showing what they actually live and that's their life. So you may not have these types of things, these rich things that you want to show, but you might have aspirations and ambitions to get them and that's fine. But don't be a fake, fake entrepreneur. Don't be a fake person online and show shit you don't. Don't rent cars and take pictures around them. Show your actual life, show your actual shit that will build authenticity, that will make people like you and they will trust you and they will invest in you. All right, and just to wrap this video up, do those three things. I promise they will do nothing but build authenticity. They will fill your bank account with money. They will make people trust you. They will get the views. And just to recap, they are own your insecurities. Take that power back for yourself. Swallow the elephant. Get comfortable with your insecurities. Don't hide them from anybody because then you can use that to your advantage. Number two is believe in yourself. Have 100% belief in what you have, your values, your beliefs. Don't be wishy-washy. Stand with conviction. And lastly, live what you preach. Don't be fake.